We're the leading producer of in-store marketing materials in the country. We work with retailers and how to make their stores easier to shop, basically helping people buy more. Overall, where we practice something here called social responsibility, which is more than looking at a return for just the investors on a quarter, it's how a decision is made and what the impact is against all the stakeholders. I found that in years of managing, that people fail to write something down, but they'll talk and they'll tell you a whole lot easier, and there's a group of us that uh, make it a point to wander through every morning and we get to understand and it's our way of staying close. But it's also a way of uncovering some opportunities or problems. During the recession, we looked at people differently as an expense, but as an asset. And I challenged all of our managers, the easiest way to handle the recession would have been as our business cut down as everyone else's did was to lay people off. So I said, how do we turn around, deploy our assets, our people, so we surveyed everybody and found out people were electricians, carpenters, plumbers, masons, all kinds of things in previous life to do with building. We then cross-trained people across different things. When we were slow, we built the building you're sitting in. When we were busy, nothing happened. It took us two and a half years, but we virtually built this facility with our own people. When you look at making a decision and it affects all the stakeholders, and you take that time to think it through, the return is going to be far greater than if you're just looking at the shareholders alone. I didn't realize the magnitude of it until we got on the other side of it, but it's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing what people can do.